All right, let's turn back to our forecast. There was lots of sunshine today, but it really didn't provide a lot of warmth. No, and don't get used to it either. No. Not around here. Let's go over to Lonnie Quinn. He has an update. Yeah, I, I, Saturday looks to be, uh, yeah. It's a washout of a day. Does not look good out there. In fact, we have a red alert issued for Saturday, but currently, this is what KJ's talking about. The skies have been beautiful, but we call it the ineffective sunshine. Didn't warm you up much. 41 degrees as of right now, the second day of the month that we've been below average. A very warm March. Right now, we're still on schedule to be the warmest March ever, right? Well, our second day, only two days so far, have we had above, have, have we had below average temperatures. 45 for your day tomorrow. So a similar day, but let's talk about the differences, okay? Very similar. Winds that may be a little bit less as you go through your day. Clouds will start to push in as you push through your day as well, and those clouds will be leading to some wet weather. In fact, it's a red alert for Saturday. Quite a bit of wet weather. An inch and a half to three inches of rain. That is real uniform around the entire area. Gusts. Could be some 40 mile per hour gusts out there as well. So it's a tough setup. And let me give you the timeline for how this is going to work out. I want your primary takeaway to be when you look at all this, it's an all day rain. I cannot find you a spot of Saturday. So, well, you know, I think you're going to be fine for breakfast. I don't. I think it's raining out there. 3 a.m. until 2 p.m. It's kicking in. Not the heaviest stuff. Heaviest would be 2 p.m. on Saturday till 8 p.m. That's the brunt. That's where you've got your, you know, most likely storm uh, flood risk out there. 8 p.m. Saturday, and as you push into the later night hours, the storm is pushing offshore, but for your day on Sunday, windy in its wake with those winds coming in from the north and west. How much rain? We talk about how it's pretty uniform out there. Well, let me show you how this comes together. The graph model is suggesting anywhere from one, remember that one to three? Well, now the graph is updated saying one to almost four inches of rain, and it's shifted everything now a little bit more inland. I've been following this with you all week long, and we've been watching it each day. Initially, it was offshore, then it was a little bit closer to shore. Now it's on. Now it's right on top of the area, putting the bigger numbers inland. This is the graph. I'll show you right now what the NAM is suggesting. The North American mesoscale says, okay, maybe it's a little bit lower, not much. This is going anywhere from an inch and a half to two and a half inches. But keep in mind, we don't have a single reading from any of these areas shaded in red, which is three inches or more of rain. So they also have a little bit of a shift inland. That's not great. Inland is where we find our river counties, and that would be problematic for some river flooding out there. We're going to watch it all. Again, it's a storm of duration. It's not a quick hitter. This is all day long, but look at this. The European, the NAM, the GFS, the graph. 2.3, 1.9, 2.6, 1.6, and could have some bigger numbers, like I said, in other spots outside the city. But uniform rain for everybody out there. Let me show you how this all comes together. Here we go. Friday looking good by Friday night. Remember, tomorrow's another cold day. Friday night could be cold enough for a couple of snowflakes out there as the first little, little spike of precipitation comes into the area. A little snowflake out there possibly Friday night. That's 1030 at night. Then we watch that storm come up, come up from the south. Now 830 in the morning, rain is moving in, some bouts of heavy rain. But if you think this is heavy, hold your breath for a second. All day long Saturday, it's cranking up. Look at this, really heavy bouts of rain coming through around 2 p.m. This is 530. It hasn't let up. In fact, it's gotten stronger out there. Finally getting out of the area. That's a tough go on Saturday, gang. That's why we have the red alert. 45 degrees tomorrow, very similar to today. Let's, we'll take the winds down a little bit, right? So that's good. Uh, still real cold in the morning, 29. The red alert for Saturday. You've got sizable rain. You've got winds as well. Everything's on the table, all right? It's not the biggest flood risk we've ever had because it's a long, drawn-out event. Mm -hmm. But you got a lot of rain out there and wind as well. Real deal, too. Yeah, it does not look like a great Saturday. So right. I mean, my girls have lacrosse games. I don't think they're going to be playing them. All right. Thank Thanks you. Okay.